Hey friends, I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Century United Methodist Church. We are in the middle of Lent and we are in the middle of a series of messages of Jesus and the prophets. And this week we are studying the prophet Micah. Micah is well known for several passages, but what you may not have known is that his book is arranged in sort of this courtroom drama. And I want to read uh, the, the scripture that we read on Sunday morning this past week that sets us up for the rest of this week in the devotions. Uh, it's uh, from the sixth chapter of Micah in the first eight verses. Let's, let's hear these words. Hear what the Lord says, rise, plead your case before the mountains and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, you mountains, the controversy of the Lord and you enduring foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people, and he will contend with Israel. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? And what have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O oh, my people, remember now what King Balak of Moab devised, what Balaam, son of Beor, answered him, and what happened to Shittim and, and Gilgal that you may know the saving acts of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before on high? Shall I, shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? With, will the Lord be pleased with a thousand, thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgressions, the fruit of my body for the sins of my soul? He has told you, O mortal." what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. May God add a blessing to the reading of this holy word. <coughs> the very first verses of this chapter make it clear that God has a charge to be brought against God's people. We are a nation who love our courtroom dramas, everything from Judge Judy to the People's Court to Judge Mathis. There's a ton of them out there. Um, why do you think we like uh, courtroom dramas and courtroom shows, actually? Law and Order. Remember the old Perry Masons, uh, Matlock uh, with uh, Andy Griffin, his uh, second big uh, series, uh, TV series. There's just a, a, a lot of interest in courtroom drama. Maybe it's the drama itself. Maybe it's that we like to see justice done and completed. Uh, that's the whole idea of, the, of law and order, that you've got your law, <coughs> excuse me, in which the police are, are pursuing their casework and, and pursuing the bad guys. And then it has to be brought to the justice part, the order part, uh, in, in terms of a courtroom decision that is made. So is the satisfaction that we want to see justice done in our world. We want to see bad guys punished and the good guys prevail. Uh, so in this courtroom of Micah's, we see now that uh, the Lord is bringing some charges against the people. And uh, it's uh, it gets to be a little bit uh, sticky here. We got to jump around in the book of the Bible. This is the scripture that we read on Sunday. So it gives you that idea that God has come to to pass judgment, to to offer judgment. But it's also the idea that uh, throughout the rest of the book, we've got to find out what those charges are, what's the defense, um, which is part of the scripture that we just uh, read. But we're going to unpack that throughout the rest of this week. But for today, I want you to just think about what is it about courtroom dramas that excite us as, uh, as uh, people in the United States? What is it that we like about um, them that uh, compels us to watch them uh, week after week, month after month, year after year? I think I read the other day, uh, Law and Order has been around for over 20 years now. So, so I want you to think clearly about what that means for you and for us as a nation and what is it that we really are trying to accomplish uh, in the courtrooms of America? And, uh, and then uh, just think about how that might relate to this book of Micah as God, this concept of God bringing charges against really all people of the earth 
but inclusive specifically of uh, his people, the nation of Israel. So I want you to think about that uh, as we uh, continue this week talking about the prophet Micah and uh, in this series of, of Jesus and the prophets. Let's pray. Oh, gracious God, we are mindful of this nation's interest and uh, uh, maybe even um, an unhealthy attachment to courtroom dramas and how uh, we want to see justice done. Uh, what is it about those shows? Is it the law part where we see the police uh, going after the bad guys and, you know, is it shootings and uh, uh, battles between the police and the bad guys? Or is it the order part <laughs> in terms of the courtroom drama where uh, cases are pleaded and uh, decisions and verdicts are handed down? Just want to uh, ask you, Lord, to be with us as we seek answers to these questions, as we enter into a, the deeper understanding of Micah's prophecy as a courtroom drama. May it ever be so in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Hey, friends, you have a great Tuesday, and God bless you.